toaster bar. Get your toes up to that bar in a strict fashion. I'm gonna teach you the kipping as well, but once you finish watching this video, you'll know which muscles to work on and how to do it both ways, basically. So, let's work those physical characteristics you need to have in order to do a perfect toe to bar, toes to bar. So, most people think it's an ab workout, an ab exercise. It's not really just an ab exercise. I'd say abs work about 30% in this, in this exercise. So you need to have a lot other specific qualities and strengths. But let's start with the flexibility first. So, most people in the toes to bar tend to lean backwards to make it easier to do. But the thing is, the stricter your torso is, the straighter it is, it is, the better the movement goes. So you need flexibility, especially on your hamstrings. So doing stuff like this, all the way down and grabbing, will help you a lot. Or if this is a little boring, which it is, you're gonna grab, for instance, a dumbbell, a plate, or, or even a kettlebell, you're gonna go on, uh, on a platform so that you can have a deficit, and then from here, you go all the way down, you stay there, and the weight will be doing all the work. You'll feel the hamstrings going and going and going a little bit more flexible each time you do it. You might start with five to seven seconds and end up with one minute, but be careful once you're done because you might, you might be very dizzy. So we talked about the flexibility, now we're gonna work your abs. So the abs, you gotta be able to do this position. I'm gonna explain why, I'm not, I'm not forgetting it. So the first thing is the hollow position. A couple palms from the floor on the feet and on the hands and imagine that somebody's driving their hammer into your abs. So you got to do something like this. Uh, you got to contract. Okay, stay here. Good. Now from here, let's rock backwards and forwards. Always keeping that angle. One thing you cannot do is close the angle. So if you go legs up or arms up, no go. Another one that's very difficult and you might feel a little bit of a cramping every, every time you do the toaster bar, you might feel a little bit of the cramping in the quadriceps. This will help you with that. What, what you're gonna do is <clears throat> pointing your toes. Your hands will go as, as far to the front as you can. Uh, fingers on the floor. And what you're gonna do is gonna raise your feet like this. Ah, you're gonna feel the hip extensors, the hip uh, flexors working, the abs working, and also the quadriceps. This will help you tremendously in order to get the toaster bar. Now let's say I'm gonna do the toaster bar. See if you recognize this first position here. Yep, this is where I start. I engage my abs with the hollow position. And from that hollow position, I'm gonna go all the way up. But the thing is, the abs, are mostly working from that beginning, from the hollow position until the mid-level, until my uh, waist level. So if I gave you more exercises for you to do in order to work the abs and the lower abs specifically, I would go knee raises like this, tightening up those abs, or leg raises all the way up to here. Because from here up, it's another thing. Also, let's not forget, they work on the eccentric portion as well. So if you try to control your, le your legs on the way down from here, legs on the way down, they're also working all the time. So from the bottom to the middle and from up to down on the eccentric, that's when the abs work. So one of the other muscles you need to work on is the shoulders, the delts. See, oh, yeah. So you need to work on stability and mobility. With mobility, you can use rubber bands in order to achieve that great stretch while through tension. Yep. And I love the Ys and the Ts with the TRX or the rings to get the stability and the strength necessary for the toaster bar. Yep. Now, how do, how do I get out of this? And now for the last muscle you need to work on, and I would say it's, it's probably the most important because it's the glue that gets it all together. Those are the lats. Oh, 
We all know that we can work the lats with pull-ups, for instance, but before you do the pull-ups, let's do the scapular retraction. So from here, it's the scap pull-ups. So just lower your shoulders and get yourself as high as possible with your arms straight. Be used to this position, okay? As high as you can go. And I know that at first it might cause a little discomfort, not only on your shoulders, but on your lats, but get used to this position very well. And I'm, I'm sure you'll progress from here. Once you get used to it and you do it a lot, you can, you, you can even do it on one hand like this, you know, like high up and stay there. This will definitely build the foundation for you to get those toes to bar. Also, obviously you have pull-ups and you can do scap pull-ups, which is retraction first and only then you bring it up, down, still active, and then rest. Of course, you have exercises like the lat pull-downs, you have the ones in which you pull to your body, for instance, like the pullover. And last but not least, I like to do it isometric as well, where I go up and back, just like so. Here, retract, and then one, and stay there. Yeah. This will definitely fire up those lats. So if you have these muscles very well trained so far, I would have no doubt in assuming that you can already do the toes to bar. So, by grabbing hold of it, and obviously your forearms are, are in, in, uh, in, at work as well, but from here, from the hollow position, the progression will be first knee raises, then leg raises, then knees to elbows, where you get that lat engagement as well, and then the toe to bar. And if you have a hard time doing it, you can do it with your legs slightly bent like so, like here, one and two you'll work that eventually with lots and lots of repetitions. But remember, the main cue is keep your lats as tight as possible throughout the whole movement. You'll see that your shoulders will not have to do as much work. As for the keeping toes to bar, in order to cycle the reps or to get more reps in the least amount of time as possible, as CrossFitters do, for instance, let's work on the kip first. So the kip is all about the shoulders. The shoulders go backwards and your head goes forward and the other way around. So one and two. So the shoulders lead the movement. As if you were doing that TRX Y exercise here. One, two, one, two, one, two. You might think of it as also as hips go to the front, hips go backwards, okay? So if you do this and if you point your toes, it will be much easier. So one, two, one, two. One, two. Now, once you get this, let's work on the progression. So first things first, hips go, hips go to the front, and when you come back, knee raises. One, two, one, two. Second progression, knees to elbows. And third progression, obviously, the toes to bar. You might do like this at first. It's not as beautiful, but you'll get there eventually with a lot of repetitions. One last tip will be the forearms. The forearms and the grip will be the main responsible, responsibles for getting that extra timing you need to bring those legs and then going to the next kip. Because when you do a kipping pull-up, for instance, this is very fast. So you don't have that much timing. But when, when you do the toes to bar, since bringing the legs takes a little bit more time, Sometimes the legs are not going down yet. You're already going forward because you're going to the next kip because of the momentum. So what you need to do is you need to focus that. When you bring those legs up, the grip and the forearms will do that extra push here, that extra flexing that will get that quarter of a second to work and to get the, 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 the next uh, toe to bar. So like here. So one, see, I'm flexing here. Otherwise, I'm just gonna, I don't even know how to do it. <laughs> Maybe I'm too good, that's why. <laughs> Once again, let me reiterate, 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 is that a word? Yeah, okay. Let me reiterate that uh, you should be working on strict stuff first, whether it be pull-ups or toes to bar before you start doing the kips and <laughs> up your shoulder. Practice diligently with consistency because progression is the key. Now, this was a hard sentence. So, subscribe, like, and see you next time.